Now that we have downloaded and installed all the required modules, we are ready to create our first form. So to do that, just click on Structure, or Web Forms, and from this page, you can manage and create new forms. Now click on Add Web Form, and we'll call our form Request a Callback, and then just click on Save. And from this page, you can manage all of the elements. Now, if you have created content types and attach fields to it, I'm sure you are used to the terminology of fields. You attach fields to content types, you attach fields to taxonomy terms or users. Now in web form, the term field isn't used. Instead, the term element is used. So in this form, we're gonna add in three elements. We're gonna add in a text field element for the name, a telephone element for phone, and we're gonna add in a text area for details. So to create our first element, just click on Add Element. And from this filter by element name, you can filter by all of the elements. Because if you have a look, there are a lot of elements to go through. And if you wanna see a preview of them, just click on this Show Preview button on the top right. And then once it's finished rendering, you can see a preview of what the element actually looks like. And this is very useful when you are starting out with the web form, but I do recommend that you turn it off because it can slow down the UI. Let me just filter on text, and then you can see we have a text area element and we have a text field element. Now for us, we wanna use the text field element, so just click on add element, and I'll add in the title of name. Now, don't worry about all of these options, we'll go through this later on, but the most important thing is enter in the title, and then scroll all the way to the bottom and check required, and then click on save. And again, click on add element, and this time search for telephone, and then click on add element, and we'll give it a title of phone, and again, make it required. And last but not least, click on add element, and search for text, and let's add in a text area for our details text area and we'll call it details. And what I'll do is I'll add in a bit of description text, which is please describe your current business. And then let's make it required and then click on save. Now one section I wanna bring your attention to is this source tab. Now from here, you can view the YAML version of the form, because the form is stored in YAML markup. It's not stored in the database. It's actually stored as YAML markup. And best of all, you can modify this YAML directly from here. So if you wanted to create another two phone elements, for example, all you need to do is copy and paste the element and then just change the key, make sure these are unique. And let's just also change the title so we can differentiate between them and click on save. And then if you go back to elements, you can see the two new elements. So if for some reason you had to create 10 new text fields, you could easily just do it through the source tab instead of manually using the UI because the UI can get a bit tedious, especially if you are repeatedly creating the same type of field. So let me just remove these elements because they are not needed and then just click on save. Okay, so here are our fields, and to view the actual form, just go to view, and here is the actual form. Now, if we enter in a name, so if I enter in name, enter in a number, and then just some details, and click on submit, we have submitted the form. Now, I do know during the site building process, you will be filling out the form a lot. So what you can do is use this test tab, and all it does is it pre-populates the form with test data. And every single time you click on it, it's some other test data. So if you click on submit, you've now submitted the form. Now this tab is very useful while building out the form. Now, after you have received a few submissions, because remember the whole point of web form is to receive and collect submissions. If you wanna see all of the submissions, well, just click on this results tab. And from here, you can see all of your submissions and you can also filter the submissions by using this text field. And if you wanna download 
all of the submissions in a CSV format. You can do so by going to download and then selecting your options and then just clicking on download down here. And finally, if you wanna clear all the submissions, you can do so from this clear page and then by clicking on clear. Now, we will go into more detail about submissions and how to manage them and how to do all sorts of stuff with them in another section. But for now, just remember, if you wanna view submissions, just click on results and view them from here. If you wanna download them, just download them from this tab. And if you wanna clear them, just clear them from here. And that's it. Congratulations, you have now created your first form using Webform. And already you know enough to download Webform in your new Drupal project, create a form, add elements to it, and download submissions. Even if you just watch this section of the course, but I do recommend that you watch the rest, but even if you just watch this section, you know more than enough to create forms from scratch using Webform. Now, this is just the beginning of the form. Throughout the rest of this course, we'll add in all sorts of stuff, such as multiple pages, conditional elements, We'll also fire off a few emails and we'll configure the confirmation page. So we have a lot of work to do. Let's continue.